Welcome back, everybody. We are here again live today from the Coastal Seafoods Test Kitchen. Uh, I'm Kian, and we are back to give some more updates and do some more cooking. Uh, you know, as you know, things have kind of changed up here a little bit. We've switched to our curbside uh, order system and delivery, which has been going great. Thanks again for all the support there. Um, it's been tremendous. Um, everybody's been so great and again our staff is super grateful for everybody and their patience as we're working through all of this um, but so far so good uh, we talked a little bit about yesterday about our senior discount being available for online um, that's for seniors and veterans uh, we have made the decision to go ahead and roll with that so normally that discount applies only on Tuesdays but at least until the end of the month we're gonna leave it available so any seniors veterans and even anybody who is considered to be at risk can go ahead and use that discount code, which is Senior Vets. Um, we've got it shared all over the place. I'll share it in the comments here below after we're done streaming. Um, but you can use that at the checkout. Um, you go to coastalseafoods.com, hit online uh, ordering and delivery, and you can place your order online. You can select whether you want to pick it up or have it delivered, and then you can enter your discount code, which is Senior Vets. And again, that's good for seniors, veterans, and anybody considered to be at risk. So we can actually have fresh seafood delivered to you. You don't have to have contact with anybody um, just to make sure that we're keeping things safe. So that is an option out there. So please let all the seniors, veterans, or at-risk people in your life know about that. Um, share the code with them. If anybody needs assistance with that, if um, they're not tech savvy enough to figure that out, um, please help them or you know, have them contact me and I'll do my best to try to walk them through the process. So that's available. Um, lots of stuff going on. You saw we're doing a giveaway again this week. Um, we decided to go ahead and roll forward with it. So fresh Pacific halibut, first of the season stuff. We just got it in. So it'll be available starting tomorrow, uh, which is great. Everyone's one of all time favorite fish. We'll probably do some cooking with that tomorrow. So definitely pay attention for that. Otherwise today what we're gonna do uh, we've had our lobsters on special all week if you've been paying attention. So $11.99 for the pound and a quarter lobsters, $13.99 for the two plus. So today we're going to make a really cool dish. Um, one of my favorite things to make and such a great way to use up stuff that you've got laying around. Uh, so we're going to do kind of a glazed lobster uh, on top of a kimchi fried rice. Now I've got kind of all my ingredients set up here. I've got my carrots all ready to go and then I've got some of my cabbage left over from yesterday's demo. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this just because I have it. Um, again, this is gonna be a kimchi fried rice. Kimchi is mostly cabbage. So this is, we're kind of doubling up on the cabbage here, but just because we have it and we should use it. Um, if you were making this at home, you would not need to use both unless you wanted to. You could use one or the other, that would be completely fine. But what we want to do is we want to start by getting our vegetables all good and prepped. I've got the rest of my onion here from yesterday as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of chop this roughly uh, so that we have some onion. And we're good to go on our vegetable prep. Again, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but we want to make sure that everything is kind of good to go so that when we get started, it's all there. Fried rice comes together very, 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 very quickly. So you wanna make sure that all your vegetables are prepped. And remember, we are live, so if you have any questions, anything like that, feel free to uh, leave those. And I've got my spare rig here, so I will do my best to try to address anything as it comes up. So again, today we're doing a kimchi and lobster uh, kimchi fried rice with a glazed lobster. So I've got my vegetables prepped, so now we kind of want to get in on the lobster, which I pre-cooked off earlier here. You can see this guy, nice nice live lobster. Um, if you're ever wondering how to work with lobster, I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, walk you through the live process because it could be a little gruesome for some people, um, but lobsters have this little cross section at the top, and if you're working with a live lobster at home, the best way to do it is to locate that cross, put your knife right in through there, and then drag it down. And that's gonna get, kind of dispatch that lobster as quickly and humanely as possible, which leaves you with this. 
Then what we've done is we boiled this for about 10 minutes or so um, and left it a little bit underdone because we're going to cook it a little bit more. Um, but what we want to do at this point is kind of separate all of the parts of the lobster. So I'm going to go ahead and actually remove the tail from the body and just kind of clean that off a little bit. And then I'm going to take my lobster tail, I'm going to lay it flat on the board and I'm going to go ahead and put my knife right kind of in the center of the lobster and push downwards, just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and cut. Got a question here. How long are the lobsters on special? Uh, at least throughout the weekend. So we had them on special last week too, um, but lobster prices have been really good. So we decided to just kind of keep it going. And I've gone ahead and I've split my lobster. Now you can see it's got this kind of vein down the center here, just like with shrimp, we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead, take my bowl, and I'm just going to kind of clean that out and get rid of it there. Just like so. Pretty easy process. You want to make sure you're doing that on both sides and just sort of remove it out. There we go. So now I've got nice clean lobster meat, which is great. Uh, next thing we want to do is clear out the rest of the meat. So when you have your live lobsters, there's meat kind of all over the place. And a lot of people just go for the tails. Um, but we've also got the claws and the knuckles. So I've got my claw here. And to get the meat out of the claw, what you're going to want to do is take the bottom, the small part of the claw, and kind of break it. Just a little bit, be very gentle because we don't want to break the meat inside there. We just want to break this part of the claw free and then pull it away. And you'll see you're left with this nice piece of meat, nice piece of meat hanging out. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our, the back of our knife, back of the knife, not the sharp end, the back blunt end, the non-blade end. And we're going to hit this lobster claw and break it. And we're going to do this all the way around and we want to try to not smash the meat inside so be kind of gentle while you're doing this uh, but it will break kind of all the way around and then you're going to be able to get this nice beautiful piece of claw meat out so i'm going to remove any kind of shell pieces that are in my way and i'm just going to go ahead and with my finger in the back end just sort of push it out and you get this whole beautiful chunk of claw meat, which is exactly what I want. Now I've done that kind of with the rest of the lobster already, so I've got a bit of meat here, which I'm just going to set aside. I'm going to take my tails, I'm going to set them on a baking tray, because again, what I want to do is I kind of want to glaze these, and what I'm going to glaze them with is a little bit of eel sauce. Now eel sauce is fantastic, you can get it it's pretty widely available. We sell it in the store. You can get it like United Noodle. Uh, and in fact, I think a lot of the major grocery stores have it. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this over the top of the tails. And then with a spoon or a pastry brush, I'm just gonna kinda spread that along. Because what we want is this to kinda caramelize on top of these lobster tails. So perfect. That's great, that looks awesome. And this is gonna create just a nice little crust on top of these lobsters. So let me show you kind of what we're looking at here so you can see. Gone ahead and just glaze those across the top. Absolutely beautiful. And these are gonna go straight into the oven. I've got this set too high, so I'm at about 425 or so gonna set those in there and I'm gonna let those glaze I mean it should only take a few minutes because it's pretty high heat so it's not the kind of thing you want to walk away from you should definitely pay attention because it is eel sauce has a lot of sugars in it so it can burn so be very very careful but while that cooks we're gonna go ahead and get our fried rice going so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my pan on real high 
Uh, fried rice, you need real high heat for. So we wanna make sure to get this pan good and ripping hot. This is all gonna come together very, very quickly. And I've got all my parts here. I've got my rice. Now for when you're doing fried rice, um, it is always best to use less leftover rice if you had it, whether it's from a takeout delivery order uh, or just something you had left over from the night before. It's best if it can sort of dry out overnight, especially if you can even fan it out like this and just let it let those kernels sort of dry out. That's going to help it fry better. It's going to give you that better texture. Um, it's one of the questions I get a lot um, in classes is, is when people are making fried rice at home, it doesn't quite have the same texture that you get in the restaurant. And it's a lot of times that's because if people are using fresh rice. So again, using dried out day old rice, perfect for making fried rice. Again, I've got all my ingredients here. My pan is getting real hot real fast, which is exactly what we want. And I've got all my stuff sort of at the get go. So again, this is gonna be a kimchi fried rice. So for that, I've got my kimchi, I've got my onions, I've got a little fresh cabbage, because again, we had some left over from yesterday's cooking demo, and I've got some carrots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of an oil to the pan. Now today I am using, I get a lot of questions on this, I'm using a rice bran oil, which actually has a lot of great health benefits. Um, and it's also a high heat cooking oil. So for this, you wouldn't want to be using your olive oil. You'd want to be using something with high heat, uh, a high smoke point. So vegetable oil, canola oil, um, anything like that, peanut oil would work. Uh, again, you wouldn't want to be using uh, olive oil in this instance. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cooking this off. Do that little toss action, get everything coated in the oil and get these onions kind of sweating down just a bit. And again, this all goes pretty quick. So again, I'm gonna get this all going. I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrots. And again, we want this to keep most of its texture. When you're making fried rice, you're not looking to cook out the texture of your vegetables. You wanna keep everything mostly intact. And you can see just beautiful colors in that pan right now. It's just stunning. And then again, that's exactly what we're looking to do. So just to soften these up, a few minutes, we're not looking to really get color on anything. We just want it to kind of start coming together a little bit. And it smells great already. Um, if you had some fresh garlic and ginger, uh, some fresh grated ginger would be really great in here. Some garlic. I just don't have any of that on hand at the moment. Um, not, not totally necessary. So again, this is coming along very, very nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add in my kimchi at this point. Just kind of eyeball it in there. Again, we've got some cabbage in already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour in some of this kimchi juice to kind of coat some of this other stuff and really get that flavor in there. Again, I'm just sort of tossing it all together. Oh, this is awesome. This smells so good right now. Oh, thank you. Yes, it is looking pretty tasty. Okay, coming together nice. And in a minute or so here, we're gonna be ready for our rice. So I'm just gonna do a quick peek on my lobster tails. See how we're doing back here. Again, this goes very, very quickly. Oh yeah, it's smelling good and lobstery, I'll tell you that much. Perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take my rice and I'm going to add this to my pot, like so. Now again, that lobster is already basically cooked so there's not, we just kind of got to have to warm it through. Um, this is one of my favorite ingredients. This is a chili infused sesame oil. So it's a little hot. It's not really as hot as it is warm, um, but it gives just great flavor to this whole thing. And I'm just gonna start tossing this together. 
combining everything. You see we have that bright, beautiful color. If there's some chunks of rice, go in there with your spoon and kind of break it up a little bit. If things are starting to look a little bit dry, you can go ahead and add a little bit more oil if you need to. But we don't want this to be too greasy either. Uh, we just want that rice to start to kind of fry off and get that beautiful fried rice texture that we all know and love. So to this, I'm gonna season this with soy sauce. Now, if you wanted to, uh, egg is also frequently used in fried rice. So you could go ahead and add just some scrambled egg in here right now and toss that all together. That would be really, 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 really nice. So again, I'm just, just sort of tossing the coat. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fried rice. This looks so, so, so good right now. And at this point, I think we're good to go ahead and add kind of our lobster meat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chunk up a little bit of these claws. I want to be pretty generous here. I don't want to do too much. Also, inside the claw meat, you can have a little bit of a tendon in there. So you want to make sure that we get that out. Just like a crab does. So we're just going to kind of remove the meat from that, like so. So if you were eating that claw meat, again, you'd want to make sure to eat around that. That is important. All right, so I got my lobster all nice and chunked up. And what I am going to do, I'm going to remove a little bit of this rice from the pan just to reserve. And I'm going to add my lobster in. Get rid of this thing. So now I've got my lobster meat in. I'm just going to toss everything all together. Again, beautiful. A chunk of rice that flew out at me. And we're just going to warm up that lobster. And while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and pull out My broiled glazed lobster here. Oh yeah, that looks great. Turn off my oven. I'll show you. So this oh, that eel sauce got nice and sticky, which is great. Absolutely beautiful. And our lobster fried rice is done. Oh, one thing we're going to do also is right at the end, I've got some lime, and I'm just going to squeeze some of this lime juice in here. Again, we're just looking to bright it up a little bit. And I've also got a little bit of green onion I'm just going to slice through. And this will add a little bit of that fresh onion flavor, sort of right at the end here. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in there. Again, and just sort of toss it all together. Now, if you're not comfortable tossing the pan like this, that's fine, just use a spoon. It's not a problem. This is just a good way to kind of get things nice and incorporated. So I'm gonna go ahead and dish up some of this rice onto the plate here. Let it fall kind of free form. Make sure you get some nice chunks of that lobster in there. And then what we will do, go ahead and clean my plate. And I'm going to take my lobster tails, slide this around the front, slide my burner out of the way. So I'm going to take these tails, again I'm just going to kind of place these right here on top. 
Again, absolutely beautiful. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these green onions. I'm just gonna cut a little bit on the bias here. Get some nice diagonal cuts, just to make it a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that right over the top for a little added garnish. Break up some of those bigger pieces. And now, to make it extra fun, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of my eel sauce, like so. And I'm just gonna drizzle this around the plate a bit, just for a little added, little added zing, and my chili oil. I'm gonna take my chili oil. These come with a nice little spout on top, which makes it really good for garnishing a plate such as this. A little bit all over, beautiful. And of course, maybe some lime wedges. So again, this is a super, super easy dish that is great for anything that you have left over. A little bit of that extra eel sauce. Perfect. So let's take a peek. You wanna check my work, see how I did? Got just this beautiful plate of lobster, glazed lobster with a kimchi fried rice. Again, who knows how much this would cost you in a restaurant. But again, it's so easy to make at home. Really beautiful. Um, again, not that we don't love our restaurant partners, definitely we're working to support them as well right now. But when you're stuck at home, you need to make something in a hurry, this is such a great thing to make. Set that right there. Um, super beautiful, super easy. Cannot suggest this enough. I make kimchi fried rice pretty often um, and it's good to go. Again, leftover rice works really well. Uh, another thing that works really well, um, maybe if you've got these in your pantry, they're those microwave bags. Take about 90 seconds in the microwave rice. Um, do that, set them out on a tray, let that cool a little bit. That actually works pretty well for doing fried rice. So if that's something you have on hand, you could do that. Um, and then this is even faster yet. So super simple, super delicious. Please give this a try. Uh, remember, we're gonna be doing these every day this week. We're just having a blast so far, cooking up a lot of good food. Um, we've got our halibut giveaway. If you haven't entered that yet, check our Facebook feed for that. Should be the post kind of just below this one. Um, our senior citizens discount, seniors, vets, and at-risk people uh, use discount code SENIORVET uh, using our online ordering system. And again, if you can help people with that, if they're not tech savvy, please do it. Otherwise, have them contact me. I will try to help the best I can. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we got for now until tomorrow, where we'll have some more fun stuff. So pay attention, stay tuned, and we'll cook some more cool food. See you later.